Alright, so, funny story. Um, I made it to Gale and realized you couldn't hear me, so... Fun. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? But that will fit in my bag. How much farther can I go? Anything of use? I need a quick word. Um, wake her up. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We, you want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Alright. I'm not gonna mess around with this too much. Um, I've already got her pretty much equipped with what she needs. Um, also, when we come to our other companions here, um, I'll stop recording quick and or when level ups come and uh, this way we're not using too much video record time or you're not sitting here watching me do this so all right another little quick save here let's have a look Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try not to butcher this too much here. And we all row with the spray upon our necks. And we all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. And the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother, wave mother. Lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask you to scale the, your skirt if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother, our skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill. Souls away and anchors still. The wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll wait gladly years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. Pick it up. Alright. 
Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. Keep on saying it until we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so is staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Yeah, I think he's going to be a little late, huh? Oh, we want that. those wretched things. Yeah. into a fight, huh? Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short fight. On my way. Yeah, girl. No choice but to keep going. Have to keep going. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. All right, we're gonna pick up stuff here. I thought you were it's inside. And then we'll go ahead and level our two ladies up here.
driving me wild. Might be useful. Okay, that. With a flick of the wrist. Who needs a rogue? I don't need a rogue. At least not right now. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and get this here before I do any level ups. I mean, it's not gonna hurt us. We can keep going. Let's see if there's anything up there. There's nothing up there. Let me go back down here. I've got one of those brain things cornered. Sorry, a quick save. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself, you look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Uh, I do not strut. We leave the strutting to you. Um, you have it backwards. They snatch me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw- ah! Your mind twists. <laughs> You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's Mind Flare's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I suppose apology is accepted. I might have done the same thing if roles were reversed. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Uh, we're gonna... Introduce myself. A pleasure. Okay. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flares. Turn us into. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? <laughs> Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it, we need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should travel with me. 
Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. <laughs> and you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I am indeed. I accept. Lead on. All right. So I have a love-hate relationship with Australian. Um, kind of my love-hate for Solus. Um, their circumstances make them the characters they are. And I'm not, you know, dissing that at all. It's just that there's some characters that you get along really well with, and then there's some characters that just they rub you the wrong way all the way through the game um i have i have played this the you know like i said repeating myself here replayed the first set um and so far uh, you can tell some of the stuff that he's been through has made him who he is today so um just depends on how far he's willing to push his set of revenge and how far he's willing to do it. and if I can save him from the path that he is down time will tell alright um so enough banter and me saying my piece on Austarian um we're gonna go ahead um I'm gonna cut the video off quick do my um level ups and get our new friend in some new outfits. Be right back. Alright. I believe... Oop. I screwed up. I don't believe. <laughs> Here I came back without doing what I wanted to do. Alright. I apologize. Just gonna do this quickly and then we'll continue because, well... I thought I was done, and obviously I wasn't. And I was gonna make you guys watch this, but um, just a few outfits to tweak here. Computer did something funky. I don't know. Away! Away! There we go. Calm down, I won't hurt you. You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me! Oh, sweetheart. Alright. Talk to Shadowheart. Astarian's an interesting find. <laughs> Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Good point. <laughs> All right, let's venture forth here. Um, I'm hoping to make it to Gale here before um, I gotta let my dogs back in. We went outside. In we go. in the mud around that rock. All right, read. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is frequent mentions mention of a sacrilegious activities among a local Slunite sketch. 
Ugh, please bear with me <laughs> again. <laughs> Not the best reader in the world. All right, so um, the stained, rugged map has passed through countless hands. A little harp marks an area called Moonrise Towers. With a small inky crescent sketch into a nearby forest, below the crescent is a more recent scrawl. Cash. Or cache. However you want to pronounce it. I like to do it with cash. Uh, potions. Throwing it down here. Both. I don't like using those. I like making them. Um, but if you've ever watched me do um, gameplays, I forget they're there. Unless they're healing potions, I forget. <laughs> kind of like arrows. Um, I forget those are there as well. Um, I know I should at least try to remember that they're there, but. I never do. There. A mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Absolutely. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. This isn't right. Step away. You can't move. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve. To die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Take the advantage of the laps and break free. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. <laughs> Icky. Monster, death is too good for it. Um, no, I don't. I think death is exactly what it needs. But to each its own. Uh, all right, let's go over here. And let's water that down. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. I don't want the ball. Give me one moment here, the dogs are barking. Alright, I am back here. Okay, that was a bone. Um, long story here. Uh, dogs were barking to come back in. Then I came back in and I did change like the washer and dryer and um, update the dishwasher. And then my son comes in and says that he's hungry, so I had to make some uh, lunch. Um, I'm glad he's gonna go ahead and try to eat from this morning. Um, and this video that I'm working on was the same day as my last What's video. What's going on with that room? Looks ah. unstable somehow. Mm, yes, very. Um, but I'm going to save this clip um, until tomorrow. Or maybe Friday. It all depends. Oh, we'll see. Alright, here we go. Approach the sigil on the stone. 
magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. And I'll apologize if you can hear me eat, because I, I decided to eat with him. Um, touch the sigil. your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Um, we're gonna do the cleric. Let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. And we're gonna quick save. And click. doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Ah. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No apologies needed. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. I was, yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion <laughs> in the ocular region. You should say that. Uh, couldn't have phrased it more repentantly myself. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon, uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. <laughs> you seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I'm indeed in cleric, but I'm afraid the powers to remove this parasite includes me. I can't curse. us. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. <laughs> We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. <laughs> Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Oh, you're most welcome. Not quite sure what that was. Okay, uh, give me one moment here, and we're gonna take care of Gail here. All right, let's see here. We got him all equipped up. Let's see if our friends have anything to say. So we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. <laughs> I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. Okay. 
got anything. You're not first in magic, are you? Of course I am. My God has granted me a great blessing. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any <laughs> elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Ah, <sighs> that was a little bit on the rude side, Gail. For a, a first intro. One day I'll catch a break. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Wolf of Every darn time. I believe we're going up this way, huh? Yep. Quick save. Thumping on the head. Thumping on the head. Thumping on the head. <gasps> An under elf. Oh my. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under elf. Lay time, I miss her. We're gonna intimidate. Excuse me. Ah, shoot. Oh, something froze. Not happening. Demaze, now. Really? <sighs> All right, we're going back. This is why we save constantly. So pretty. Lay tight. All right, good. Demaze. Come. I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Well, she was sort of assertive before, and now she's not. Say please. Never. Bye bye. Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery. A training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. 
A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Hmm. All right. We'll journey together. Let's find this crash. You have made an ally from Crash Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Easy, you two. Alright, so I believe we're gonna end it here. Um, everybody's coming oh, home nice now. And it's a little bit harder to um record Seems simple enough broken must have been here a while all right let's go get our shovel first here and then we'll see i hear shouting whoops we should check it out but be careful <laughs> in the bits and bombs. And we're gonna go find our little area here. Waypoint. Perfect spot to say goodbye. And we'll record another time. <laughs>